Hello there. So today I am going to start my decluttering series videos and I'm going to be going through my makeup collection and getting rid of stuff and filming it. Time to clean up and make this a better utilized makeup collection and able to find stuff because look at this, it's crazy. Here is my supposed to be skincare and like mascara eyeliner and brow stuff drawer. Uh, some lash stuff in the back, some tools. Um, yeah, so this is a kind of my everyday drawer is what I think of it, but it really is just like way too much stuff. Oh, and lip balms, face masks and samples. Okay, and now these are going to be tons of like eye primers, brow products, eyeliners, and mascaras. So I'm just going to like kind of slowly section by section clean stuff out and I'll go through some of it with you guys. Decide what to keep. First, we are going to be looking at the mascara and eyeliners, and I'm just gonna kind of sort these out real quick. All right, so I've kind of sorted everything out here, and you can see there's a ton of eyeliners and a good amount of mascaras, some primers, some randomness and then brow products. So I'm just gonna pull that random stuff out because I don't want those in here anymore. All right, so I'm hoping that between these types of products, I can get everything into just these two little bins and not keep as much. Just keep the stuff that I really, really like to use. Uh, not sure if I'll exactly get rid of it yet, but I'll be thinking about it and uh, at least I'll have the stuff that I really like ready to go when I'm ready to use it. It's going to clean this one out real quick here. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and this is waterproof. Um, shade is black as black, and I really love this. It's very new, and I've been really happy whenever I use this. I do like to use waterproof most of the time because I get allergies this time of year, and my eyelashes tend to kind of... Um, droop down into my eyes unless I use waterproof with having watery eyes. So really been loving that one. Um, another one I really like for waterproof is this CoverGirl Super Sizer. However, this one is very old and it still works, but I do feel like I need to go ahead and throw this out. So I'm going to do that. And uh, next, this is the Lancome Defenacils. And this one is also a black mascara. Um, still pretty good. Um, doesn't quite give the extreme volume that I usually like to go for. So um, I will probably try to see if any close friends or family want this one. Otherwise, I'll be throwing that out. Um, Marc Jacobs. This is the Velvet Noir Mascara. And it works really good. It's just not waterproof. That's why I haven't been using it every single day. Um, on days that I don't feel like I've got allergies, I really do like to use this one. So I'll be keeping that. And this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. And this is such a good mascara. I love it. Um, I probably will hold on to this a little bit longer because it still works really well. Uh, it's a little bit drier than the Voluminous, but for now, I'm going to hold on to it. Um, just to show you this wand, since I'm showing you the others, it's very similar to the Better Than Sex. Um, I feel like the waterproof version of this is really close to the waterproof version of that. But they need to do like the cool water droplet packaging because it's sweet. Um, this is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. And this is a little sample of that mascara. And I've only tried this a couple times. I do like it, so I'm going to hang on to that one. 
and just like throw it in a travel bag. The Givenchy, this is the Givenchy Noir Couture. It's a brown mascara. The shade is brown satin. And here's the color on that, really kind of a funky applicator. But I'm gonna hold on to that because I think it's a really pretty shade and it's still a good mascara. So I'll hold on to that one for now. So as far as primers, I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and this is Candlelight. I don't know if they actually make this anymore. I've had it for a really long time and it is kind of dried out. It was kind of like a golden sheen on the lid and I feel like it is pretty dried out. So I'm going to throw that one out. And then I've got the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. And this one's really new. It is nice, but I don't feel like it's my favorite primer I've used. I really am a fan of like the Urban Decay Primer Potion or the uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is <laughs> what this is, even though it's all worn off. Keep this just to keep testing it out. And the shadow insurance, I'm going to keep too. And I'm just going to kind of fit these in here. I wish it, I wish they would both fit like that, but no. Okay, so there I've got my mascaras and my primers. Next, we're going to do the eyeliners. I like to keep kind of my more often used colors in here. I do have a lot more eyeliners than this. Um... So that's usually me black or really dark brown, and that's what I've got in here mostly. Um, colors like this were something I used, and then I just threw them in here, but they're not like an everyday use item. So I'm going to pull out the funkier colors, because I know for sure they're not needing to be in this drawer. This is a really good one though. Oh, it's so... Pretty. I have to keep this one in here just because it's so like glamorous, luxurious. The Marc Jacobs highliners. Um, got that one. This light pink is really good on the waterline to kind of brighten the inner rim. I've got the white. Yeah, I haven't used this one too much, but I should. See, the thing is that all this stuff kind of gets hidden when there's so much in here. And then here's the brown really nice color. Look at how pretty that is. Like it almost looks black but just a little bit of a blue hint to it. And then this one is really different. It's like a pastel brightening effect. Alright, so this one is Bobbi Brown and it's a night sky sparkle so it's a very rich black liquid liner that has beautiful sparkle to it. This one is really pretty. Um... I like that it's kind of different, and let's see if I can get it to go more intense if I shake it up. I like that one a lot. I think I'll keep that. Um, I don't know that I'm going to keep it in this bin. For liquid liner that's just black, this is the Urban Decay Perversion, and it's like a matte black, but I have a little bit of a harder time controlling where that goes but look at how deep that color is it's much better as far as color so i am going to pass this one on just because i have a harder time working with this product okay so this one's from wet and wild and this is like a marker black eyeliner and it makes like really precise lines and you get a lot of control but i feel like it dries out really quickly and I don't really like that one so I'm going to toss a uh, Lorac Pro. This one was nice. It's got like this huge applicator, um, kind of a Christmas tree type shape and the only thing about it is I feel like when I started using it, it was already kind of dried out and so I think I'll see if anyone's interested. Otherwise I will trash that one. This one is going to be the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Pen, and it's really cool because it erases lines. Like, if you mess up, you can just make it disappear. And then I just clean it off when I, like, wash my makeup brushes. So I think that is super cool. I love it. So I'll be keeping that. And then this Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and it's Mad Max Brown. Let's see if there's anything left here. Yeah, this is really good. 
thing I like to do with this sometimes is draw in a little bit of my brow because it can draw in what looks like a hair because <laughs> one of my brows is a little shorter than the other. So I'll keep this one, but I think I'm actually going to put it in with the brow stuff. All right, so then I've got a deep purple. I'm going to put that out of here. Olive green. And this one's really cool. Smog. It's like a bronzy brown. I love that color. And we've got Rimmel. This one is nude. And that one's good for the inner rim as well. This one is Zero from Urban Decay. And it's so tiny and small. I think that I will put it in a travel bag. This one came with a Sephora Beauty Insider reward a while back and it is just too old. It dried out. So I'm going to have to throw that one out, but it worked incredibly well. And I actually just got a new one of these in like a sample pack from Marc Jacobs. And it's one of my favorite eyeliners ever. So it's crazy that wasn't even completely used up because I did feel like I used that all the time. This one is Bourbon from Urban. Really pretty too. More of a reddish brown. We'll put that one in here. And Whiskey. That one is like a true brown. Put that one away too. This is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. And it's a really good creamy eyeliner. That's just black and then it has a smudger on the end and I really like this. It was really cool because it was like adjustable so you could flick out the wing different ways. Um, I did use this one up quite a bit. It was a little bit tricky to work with but I did enjoy having it. I just feel like it's on its last leg so I'm going to toss that one. Uh, Essence Gel Liner and this was Midnight in Paris. So this is one I used to love so much. Uh, to put on the inner rim because it was the only thing that would stay around and like not move but I had such a hard time finding one that wasn't dried out when I bought it and this one wasn't at all but it was actually like drier than it used to be so I haven't been happy with this I am actually going to give that away as well this milk jumbo eye pencil I'm going to get rid of that all right, so the ones I'm going to keep here, and then these ones I am going to put away with other liners. All right, so there's those. And for brows, let's see. This is the uh, Gimme Brow number three. This is Cabrow number three, and Goof Proof number three. And these are all really good products. I especially like this one because it has some like fibers in there really built up uh, some good color and texture and so I like that a lot and it's still going strong so I'm gonna hang on to that and then the goof proof brow pencil I'm wondering how much is left of this like we're getting close so I'm gonna work on using that up I feel like it's not as precise as I like sometimes in brow pomade in brunette and I really like the shade of this I like that the product is not dried out at all yet, so I've been enjoying that. So the clear brow gel from Anastasia, so I'll be keeping that. Brow with a medium brown, so I'll be hanging on to that and I'm loving it. All right, so then I've got this Makeup Forever Sculpting Brow and it's all gone. Like I really, really liked this one, so I'll get rid of that one. This was the brow pencil from NYX in Blonde. And I felt like these pencils did a really good job, but this color was just too light. Look at that. It's like really good if you have natural blonde hair, but I don't. So it's way lighter than my eyebrows. So I'm going to give that away to someone that could use it. So now I've got my lash curler. I like the Shu Uimura. I believe that's how you say it. Um, because it works for my eye shape really well. I have kind of like hooded eyelids and it doesn't pinch at all. So I'm going to put that in with the mascaras, got a tweezer here and I'm going to put that with the tools. And for, oh, Cabral kind of snuck on the wayside here. I did like this product a lot. I've used it a lot, but I feel like it's kind of dried out. So I'm going to see if anyone else is interested in it. It has a cool little built-in brush 
and it was fun to use but I feel like it's seen better days so move on from that okay so here's what we've got four categories and yeah